What's up guys, what's going on? So it's me for another video. Today we are back in our colony in Rimworld, known infamously as Waka's Kingdom, or Flocka's Kingdom. And I've detected a cluster of pods crashing nearby, and ooh boy, that's some useful stuff. Uh, okay, that's just debris, I thought that was something else. So, uh, last we left off, I was yelling at my boy Waka over here for doing stupid stuff with the... A uh, stonecutter's table apparently said that there's like a range or something. Uh, search radius, we should probably, yeah, let's, uh, let's tone that down a bit. Because the search radius was kind of ridiculous. So, I don't know, is a hundred good? Is that like, that should be, I can't imagine that that's more than a hundred blocks right there. Because, uh, I hope not, I hope that's not more than a hundred. Because then the stonecutter's table becomes broken. And that's bad, but today we do have some work that has to get done, and most notably, uh, today we're going to do something big. We're going to get some manual priorities going and kind of prioritize what is important. So first things first, uh, whoever is amazing at whatever, that becomes their number one priority straight off. That is just what they will do. Actually, you know, walk a tinker, probably want tinker doing that more. Uh, walk a, he can do it as well, but he's got other prior. Yeah, he's got other priorities, so won't really be prioritizing that. Go ahead and make mining as number two. Pretty much what we're doing, except for research. We're, we're pretty much done with the research. I mean, I guess we'll throw that throw that for the tinkerer for now. Might as well. I mean, he doesn't really have much to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start doing some stuff here and just making sure people have things to do. And uh, hmm, this is tough. Definitely, well, Stanford's going to be the designated pirate. Cass is still the cook. And uh, Sal is going to be the warden, apparently, because that's what he's good at. I think that was his job the entire time, so it doesn't matter. Gary gets to be the designated doctor. Everyone's number one priority is firefighting. In case a fire breaks out, like, I want everyone to stop doing their shit. Except Cass. Cass can keep going, because Cass kind of... She's a cook. She's got to cook for us. Uh, might as well, whoever's the designated miner as well, is fire... Actually, just firefighting for them will come number two. I do want to make sure, yeah, for the people who are really good at stuff, their priorities will come number two. So if they are in the middle of something, kind of makes sense if you get what I'm saying. Uh, that, that'll probably be okay. So hauling. Probably want to have quite a few people. Uh, definitely want to throw hauling under their job descriptions because that's a pretty big part of the colony work. I'm going to go ahead and throw it as number two for quite a few people. Actually, we're going to go ahead and throw mining as number three for Waka and crafting can be number four. Also, we need a designated cleaner. Someone was uh, nice enough to tell me about that. I think that might be our designated badass, Stainford. You're going to turn into a bit of a pansy in this episode. Just kidding. I don't really care. And uh, you're going to be the designated cleaner. You're going to be cleaning shit up for us and uh, have fun. It's a great, great time, I swear. I'm going to go ahead and throw salt as a hauler is number three. Gary! Yeah, I don't know. Uh, probably going to... Well, whoever's... These people are like decent at constructing, so I'll throw I'll throw that for Stainford as well. But he's got actually no, he won't be a designated cleaner. They're better. He's like a level six with that, and others are a bit lower. So Stainford, your number three job can be cleaning. So that way, if you don't have construction to do, then you can do it. Our number one cleaner though has to be someone who isn't really good at much. And I mean, like someone who is not good at much. Which in this case. uh for the most part, everyone in our colony is pretty good at something. I guess Haskell can do it. Yeah. I don't know. I'll make that a number one priority as well. So if he can get, if he's done crafting, he can actually, no. How's he going to be done crafting? That is, whatever. I'll throw that down there. If Stainford's not hunting or constructing or whatever, uh, then he can go ahead and start cleaning. I think that'll be an okay. I think that's pretty fair, in my opinion. Say, I'll throw it as number three, since it is pretty low on everyone's list. Uh... Yeah, pretty much if it's number three, that just means they'll do it if they have if their other priorities aren't done. A warden, we only need one warden, only need one doctor. Firefighting's good. Cooking, only need one cook. Pretty much really only need one hunter. Construction and repair, uh, depending on people's levels, I'll go ahead and throw those as number twos for these guys. Uh, cast, don't even don't even worry about that shit. You'll be you'll be fine as long as you could clean, which you can't. Uh, it's out. Yeah, you're just you're just so bad at that. I don't want to see you constructing ever. Actually, Cass, I don't want to see you do. Eh, nah. Might as well. Might as well be productive. Haskell, they're like he's like level four, so might as well throw him a 
day. He has, I don't know, he has cleaning to do. So at the same time, I'll throw those as number threes, I guess. Uh, growing, I'll throw Waka in the growing category as well. Uh, actually, our, our right now our growing category is absolutely fine, so no need to worry about that. I'll throw that as a number four. Mining, probably probably going to want to throw a couple people into the mining department. Uh, Sal, probably, I'll throw him as a number two. Uh, Cass is not going to mine. Stainford, I could, I don't know, I do want him to do some cleaning though, so I don't know if that's really what I want. I don't really need, I need like, ah, I actually think I'll be fine because... Uh, salt will focus on that, and Sal will do that. Plant cutting. Uh, I guess Sal could do it, because that's part of his gathering duties. I mean, that's the best logic I could come up with. He gathers stuff. Uh, Waka. I do... Eh, nah, I don't need him crafting. I have Haskell doing that. Art. I don't even know what that is right now. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we're good. We got our priorities set straight. And let's see how this goes with everyone's new priorities. Let's see if our productivity can go up. Let's see how, how well this will go. Probably terribly, to be honest. But whatever, we gotta, gotta be optimistic, you know? That's how, that's, how, that's how you do stuff right. Also, we got a lot of bodies we gotta deal with. So that's gonna be absolutely great. Uh, yeah, that's, that's terrible. It really is. We should have been, been a little bit better with that. But at least now that it is destroyed, we can go ahead... And we're kind of going to make our sandbag things, uh... Oh, God. The, the power shit was cut. Oh, yeah, because it blew up. Of course. I'm uh, going to go ahead and want to go to our infrastructure category, wherever that is. Power conduits. Plop that down. It's raining. That's depressing. God damn it. I'm just going to let these squirrels rot. When did these squirrels die? They're desiccated. They're just dead. For They've been dead for that long. They really don't rot. Uh, that's, that's questionable to say the least, but I'll allow it for now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I guess we'll kind of build on top of the stone path, which I don't like to do, but, you know, sacrifices must be made. Our beautiful, lovely stone path must be abandoned in sad, sadness. Uh, shit, actually what we could do is go ahead and get some more stone walls going that way, and then we'll kind of have a long corridor that they have to walk through and probably get raffle stomped in. Uh, something just happened. Was that a trade ship? A farming vessel? Well, you know what? I need someone who deals in freaking weapons. Because I want to sell my weapons like yesterday. I want to go. I want to sell this shit. We gotta go. We gots to go. And, uh... Oh, hey. It looks like walk over there. They're following that path. And they're going, like... They look like they're going on cracks. It's so fast. I love it. It actually looks really, really appeasing, too. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, where's our designated cleaner? How's he doing? Who's our designated cleaner? Haskell. Actually, no, he's not. Damn it. Well, whatever. They'll get around to cleaning it eventually. And we'll have some nice stuff going around the colony. Uh, let's check out what our home zone is. I just want to double check. Okay, so pretty much the the, the near -er, the near -er area. I'm going to turn this volume down a bit on my side because that rain that pitter patter is getting a little bit loud and here we got our nice little corridor leading into the I'm going to call it like the corridor of doom that's probably such a stupid cliche name but whatever I don't really care uh, we can probably actually that's not a terrible idea what we can have is have an improvised turret kind of right in that corner and that will serve as uh, shooting them as they enter. It's probably going to blow a hole in there, but whatever. We'll replace that with some nice stone wall. And have some nice stuff going on. Uh, has Haskell's recruitment. That's uh, Eclipse. And that's another Eclipse. That's that's extremely depressing. Where did the silver come from? Was someone just carrying it? I think they might have been. Uh, so that's pretty. That's that's cool, I guess. Uh, let's see. Squirrel over there. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, okay, we got... We got uh, 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 Haskell, I, I need you to hurry up, and he's not going to get inside in time, so Haskell, uh, you're going to just hopefully not die. That's your job. That's your designated job right now. Don't die. Uh, Waka, it's your time to shine. You are going to actually, yeah, might as well uh, go ahead and work on that. Oh, shit. No, he's going out there. What? Uh, 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 shit. You know what? We don't need the turret. All right, now Waka. You are going to get drafted, and it's, it's going to be minigun time pretty soon, I'm not going to lie. And uh, it's going to be your time to shine yet again. Everyone, wake up. 
Shit is getting real. We got to go. Got to go defend the colony. This includes you, Cass. Actually, she has a Leah Enfield, so I don't really care about that. Stanford, let's go. You you have a you have a sniper. I want you to kill. Sal, you have a freaking charge rifle. That's pretty. That's a good weapon. You're you're going on over there too. Gary's been drafted. Salt, my boy Salt. You have an M16. That means you are joining the military for now. And I think I've just about recruited everyone who I could. Because we have seven in the colony, and that is seven right there. Sal. I got, let's see, who do I have? Waka. Waka's recruited. Uh, Haskell, but he can't do anything except maybe shoot reinforcements from the outside. Cass is going to keep cooking. And uh, I think I drafted everyone then. All right, well then, let's go. We're going to have five people to defend the area. You guys better hurry your shit up and they better not go they better try to they better actually okay they're gonna break in they know they are they they better go okay they're going for the door uh where are those guys going they're kind of wandering around this is gonna be uh you guys better hurry up shit's about to get real waka uh i'm sorry i'm doing this to you waka you might need to defend by yourself oh god waka please go go oh they're 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 not happy with this oh shit waka live live waka live don't let, let's not shoot each other uh, let's not throw grenades either. Grenades are disastrous. Uh, Jesus Christ, let's get rid of that. I know that they're attacking. Uh, we got a melee fight going on. Who needs rescue? Oh, shit. Waka? No. Oh, man, they got us in a melee fight. I wasn't ready for this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Everyone better not. Okay, Haskell, you gotta come in from behind. You gotta provide some reinforcements here. This is getting, this is getting rough. Uh, I might want us to run. God damn it, we weren't able to fortify fast enough. Well, I uh, just hit my mic. Shit. Oh, that's not good. They have numbers, and they got some decent health as well. So we might just have to, we might just have to get out of there. So okay, guys, formation. Uh, let's just retreat. I guess let's let's retreat to the safe area with shit tons of turrets. That's my, honestly, that's my best strategy right now. So let's go. We gotta go. We gotta not get shot. Just get going, fellas. Get going. Uh, well, it's been nice knowing you, Gary, but whatever. We have the turrets. Let's go, turrets. We need you. We need that defense system to come in handy. Okay, looks like it's, uh, looks like it is working. Waka, you better not die. This is your kingdom. This is for you. Uh, Haskell's doing some, uh, good old work from behind there. He better, whatever, just whatever we can do to protect our boys. Uh, let's see. We'll go hide by, I don't know if a cactus is a good idea to hide behind. Oh, uh, hide behind that lamppost, whoever has a sniper. It's actually salty. Go over there. You go over there. Uh, so you can throw yourself in front of the building, and Sal can go right there. Uh, let's go firing lines, and let's see what we can't get done. So let's get some shots in, and uh, they're gonna, they might like blow up some food too. This is bad. Oh, we're getting some hits in though. So we just better be able to rescue Waka. That is my one hope. We got. Okay, I mean, we better... Oh, we might be able to get reimbursed. Looks like someone over here might be, uh, scavengeable. Never mind, we, we just shot them. As long as Waka doesn't get shot, I'm okay with this. We just gotta get some solid hits in. Our turret's gotta... Turret's probably gonna blow up. Not gonna lie, that thing's probably a lost cause. Uh, Cass is... Or, oh, Cass, you're getting recruited. Let's go. You are helping out now. Uh, welcome aboard. Let's get some shots off. Uh, that thing... That turret's gone. It's... Yeah, it's game. Game over. That's a, such a big radius. Uh, how how is Killjoy not dead yet? Oh, Haskell went down. No. Oh shit. This is. Oh man. There's some fires going everywhere too. This is ghetto. This is bad. All right. At least Sal, our designated farmer, is doing all right. They're also terrible shots, as are we. Uh, oh no. We just got a couple in there. Not too shabby. This is a race against time. We gotta. Okay. Maybe like lure them down south or. And Doc, ah oh, man, I think if we kill like a couple of these, we should be fine. They should like run out of fear of dying or whatever. Or they should start fleeing pretty soonish if we could land some shots. That is, I mean, this is vital. Waka's running out of time. Waka must live. Okay, they're fleeing. They're fleeing. Uh, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, Salt, you can go ahead. Let's actually. We can probably save a cup. We can save Doc over there. Haskell's probably gonna live and. Waka's gonna live, sadly. Gary the Herbless did die, but so we should be able to get Doc over here, the scientist, and uh, his character is, he's, he's a good shooter, that's good, that's good to know, but uh, we're gonna definitely, whoever has the short range gun, so Salt, 
go ahead and capture Doc. Uh, Cass, I'm going to need you to save Waka. Let's go. Rescue Waka. And then uh, Sal. Or Salt. Yeah, so I don't know who I sent after what. Uh, Sal, you're going to be going after Haskell over there. So let's rescue Haskell. And we got to go execute plan beta, alpha, whatever. Uh, we Castillo could go down over there, but uh, honestly, I doubt it. We just got to save our people. We got to save them quick. Also, who's the designated doctor? We don't, we, he died. Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, that's, that's not good. Uh, someone's going to have to take over doctor and duties. That's going to be you, Mrs. Chef. You're going to, you're going to do that. Do we have a warden? Okay, it's Sal's still alive. Thank, thank God for that. Uh, let's get going. Uh, we got to, we should have plenty of time, but, oh, thank God I put this route out. That'll kind of help him speed up, I hope. Uh, Waka, please don't die, man. Oh, shit. Oh, a boom rat went off. What an asshole. No wonder there's a fire sp Oh, shit, there's a fire spreading. Uh, stay in for it. Let's go. Yeah, let's stop that fire. Woohoo. Let's definitely stop that from happening. Uh, we should be able to get Doc to help us out. And hopefully, uh, is Doc, is, is Doc good at medicine? I guess that's the question to ask. Doc, how's your medicine game? His medicine game's really good, so he should, he, he'll replace Gary. It was, he was expendable. Also, we have lots of bodies. And that fire is luckily getting put out thanks to the va Valiant Souls. Valiant, Valiant, however you say that. Uh, they're helping out, and our, our god king Waka has survived this atrocious attack. And uh, the people, the people of Cash Company, will pay a hefty price for the things that they have committed, the atrocities they have committed against me and my colony. Because uh, we just lost Gary, who I don't think he was a, he wasn't really. He wasn't a long time colonist, but uh, I, I miss him nonetheless because he wasn't here a long time, like I said. But he definitely contributed. I he was a he, he right now we'd be helping all nurse all these people back to health, and uh, he can't be doing that right now. So uh, I guess rest in peace, Gary. It's been nice knowing you. We did capture one of the enemy though, and uh, your valiant efforts will not be forgotten, even though they probably will within the next like three episodes. Honestly, I apologize if they are forgotten, uh, which is actually. Now that I think about it, it's going to be my next episode, so... <laughs> I'm so sorry, but... Oh, Doc is a male mercenary sniper. What the... He's a scientist? Fallen prodigy? Does that give him... Oh my god. Oh my god. He's amazing. He's also... He's, he wants to learn shooting and he wants to learn medicine. Well, he could be a pretty, pretty good guy in the military. Or our military, which is a pretty ghetto military, but... Whatever. Minigun. Definitely want to salvage that. I uh, just... Man, this was a bad battle, to say the least. Bad battle. Let's go ahead and unrestrict all those weapons. And Gary, sadly, probably won't get a proper burial. And it's terrible to say, to say the least. But, uh, you know, what's, what's done is done. And uh, I don't think we're going to be really digging any graves to help out and do that. Because we have other priorities, which involve A, sleeping and kind of getting through the night, getting the necessities and... If we get attacked pretty soon, it's going to be a bad situation for us. I don't think we'll be able to pull through because, uh, I mean, it's just looking rough. It's definitely looking rough right now. And uh, we do have a couple meals We're prepared by the ever so lovely Cass, who has been a trooper, but uh, Salt is one of the first. And uh, Stainford, I think all, I think the original colonists are all gone. I think so. I think maybe Stain is Stainford an original? Someone help me out here. Who, who are the three originals? of the colony. That's what I want to know. That's kind of the important thing here. That's what it, that's what I need to know. Also, I'm just going to cancel these red carpet blueprints because those are, you can't even access them anyways. We were getting some more power. Uh, not that it matters. We did lose a couple of vital turrets. Uh, Waka, our boy Waka, is uh, back on his feet, which is a heroic triumph to say the least. And uh, I, I couldn't be more happy in my entire life to say to know that I haven't lost Waka, because he's, uh, honestly, he's, he started Trent, and this is epic music to play, as, as I tell my sad tale about Waka and his boys, and I'm tearing up, the, 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 the clouds, they're crying, the gods, they're crying, because their, their, their godchild, Waka, is incapacitated, and we got a cluster of pods, they have sense and goodwill, except it's outside of our colony, those assholes, and, Doc over here, he does have a spacious interior. I think he'll appreciate that. Yeah, 
Oh, it's pretty dark. Oh, it is pretty dark now that I think about it. But it's Sal is bringing him some food. We're going to go ahead and do some prisoner things right now. Let's get some friendly chats going and let's definitely try to recruit him. Because we need his help in the colony as soon as possible. Because uh, shit's not looking up right now. So it's Sal, do your, do your job. Convince him. And then go back to growing food. Because we kind of need food. And Stanford over here. Our priorities are a little bit messed up to say the least. But uh, we might want to take off manual priorities for now. As we do want to get the most important stuff done. And uh, we only lost one person after all. We are back on our feet and things are going well. Just have to we did get the door back up which is great news. We got the turret constructed which should help out quite a bit. And uh, we got to be more alert next time. That's what we got to do. So actually I'm thinking what we do over here is we grab, we, we do multiple doors. It's going to be a bit more expensive I know. But uh, hear me out when I say this could be a great idea. So what we're going to do is we are definitely going to go ahead and get a couple of powered doors going and we'll just add them on as we can and uh, we're going to make sure that does not happen again that is not happening again I repeat myself we will be ready and by that I mean by the time they break through four doors we will be able to be in our positions and lighting them up and that turret will help out a little bit too so honestly it's not bad uh, someone's got to yeah, turn that on that will power the other door through a chain reaction there uh, that door is sideways uh, about that, Mr. Door, I'm just going to go ahead and sell you whenever I can, except that door is just like, that door went full stupid. Okay, there we go. Now let's get the power door going there, and now as soon as it gets built by Stanford over here, who's running up to grab some scrap, yeah, that's what he's doing. But so again, this has been a very exciting episode. I think I'm going to end it off there, because lots of stuff did happen, especially the uh, near death of our god king, Waka, Flaka, Flame. Uh, but luckily, he is still healthy, he's resting, and everything is going well with him, which is just, I mean, fantastic news. If we were to lose him, I'd probably mentally break down, and I, I don't know what I'd do without him. But uh, as soon as this door gets constructed by Stainford, we now have a uber-safe little house, or not house, but whatever, and oh shit, apparently that's not, is that not allowed? Can we not? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, let's deconstruct one of those. That's, apparently can't have that many doors next to each other. That's a tad bit unfortunate, so I'm just going to go ahead and make sure those two get deconstructed. Because that's pretty glitchy. We'll just have it be a two-chamber for now. We'll expand it whenever we can. But so like I said, I've been mumbling on for long enough, and that's a great point to end off on. Lots of exciting stuff did happen, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, be sure to like and this going to be Signing out. Love you guys. See ya.